Hi folks, Glenn Jewis here, and I've just got a, a short video to give you a quick review on a product which I've kind of committed myself to now having just come back from Photoshop World. And the actual product is this one here. You can just see on my waist here, this little thing for holding my camera, and it's called the Spider Holster. Now before I go into the review, just one thing I want to say is, I am under no contract and I'm getting no commission for promoting this product here. I'm only putting this video together because I think it's a pretty damn good product, and I thought it'd be worth sharing it with you. So, what is it then? Okay, so it's basically a way of holding your camera nice and steady. In the past I've had all kinds of different products that I've used for holding my camera and carrying it with me outside of my camera bag. I've obviously used the, the strap that you get when you first of all get your camera, that didn't work out too well, and I've used all kinds of products. There's also a thing called a Black Rapid strap. I've used that, I've loved it in the past, but over time there's things that I've kind of found that made it not really suitable for the, that I, you know, the way that I work. When I'm walking around, I tended to find that it kind of moved quite a bit on my hip and it got a little bit irritating. Anybody who's seen uh, one of the classes that I've got recorded over on Kelby Training, my character compositing class, you'll see that I'm in a scrapyard walking around first of all. And actually somebody commented saying that, did you have a problem with that strap? Because every time I'm walking, I'm having to kind of like readjust it. So that was one of the reasons I didn't like having this strap where it cuts across you. I also, the main thing I guess, was the fact that it, I tended to find that when I had the camera on, I've only got like a nick on uh, D800 with a 24 to 70 on here so there's a fair bit of weight in there but if I had it with my 70 to 200 obviously a lot more weight and I was finding it was digging in my in my shoulder here and my side of my neck and also I was getting the old strap coming across here and getting the um man boobs or the moobs as I like to call it when it cuts across here but also on a practical side of things when you're wearing other clothing as well outdoors if you're going to be wearing a coat because you're in the UK and it's likely to rain you've got a jacket on and I found that it got a little bit cumbersome when I had clothing on and also like you saw in the short video when I walked on there I had my rucksack over the back straps tend to get in the way this seemed to be a fantastic solution for me so if we just zoom in to give you an idea of what it is You've got this really clever kind of holder here where you can kind of like just drop your camera in and it is incredibly secure. I posted up recently on uh, Facebook and other social media sites that I use about the fact that I'm using this now and some of the feedback was, yeah but how secure is it? Well look, I mean you saw when I was walking in then, also moving around now, I'm not giving a bit of a dance here but just kind of show you, it is incredibly stable in there, really really stable. If You've got a, little, a very clever little lockdown point here but even if you don't use that to get the camera out you've got to go 90 degrees and then slide it up. It's just the way that's been designed and just if you want that extra peace of mind like I said there's this real clever little switch that comes over to actually really really lock it in it is incredibly comfortable before now having everything up here I was getting a backache and like I said digging into the shoulders now that everything is on here all the weights around my waist I just honestly it is incredibly comfortable and walking around in the cameras is not something that I was all that kind of keen with before because of the, all the problems I was having the only thing that turned me off about looking at something like this in the past is I've had friends who've had all these kind of utility belts, all this kind of stuff around their waist, and I am a geek, I'm a self-confessed geek, but that seemed to be taking it to the next level, but maybe it's because I'm getting older now and I'm kind of thinking about my lower back and my shoulders. This now, when I've got to weigh up the benefits, do I not want to look too much of a geek, or do I want to be comfortable and preserve my back and shoulders? Well, my back and shoulders win hands down, and this here is the perfect solution. Now, just looking at it, again, we'll just zoom in. You can see that on the bottom here, in fact, I've got a little bit of a plate locked in here. If I just get a coin, I'll just take it off uh, the bottom here, because this is actually my tripod plate here, for my uh, Vanguard tripod, which you've probably seen a little video on that I've done already. But if I just sort of take this out of here, you can see you've got this very, very clever design plate here. So this kind of screws in to the bottom of your camera, this little nodule to the side here. Now this little nodule can be moved onto either side as well, depending on what you prefer, whether you're left or right-handed and which side you want the camera to be. Now I'm an awkward left-hander, I've got it set so it hangs on the right-hand side, but hey, that's just me. Now also with this little plate here, you can see the Allen key also comes equipped with it. So I can always check and make sure it's tightened down before I start working on it. So that is really simple to put on. And like I said, one of the questions I had a lot of times was, yeah, but I didn't like it because I couldn't then, uh, got a helicopter going over now. Um, one thing I didn't like about it was I was un unable to put my tripod mount onto it, so it would be really awkward to keep taking it on and off. Well, they've even thought of that. You can actually screw it into either one of these screws here to put your tripod plate in as well. So, that's the spider holster. In fact, let's just drop that back in there. That's the spider holster. In fact, just to show you, that's how you put it in. Put it straight down, turn it so that the lens is facing to the back as well. But there you go, that's the Spider Holster. Definitely check it out price-wise. It was a pretty good price when I was out in the States over in the Expo Hall down in the Photo Show World. But before coming out to record this video, I've just had a look on Amazon in the UK and it was for under 100 pounds. And there's loads and loads of different gadgets you can get as well for actually, rather than using this kind of like 
padded area here. I've <laughs> got another plane going over. Um, rather than use this padded bit here, you can also get a little clip so it goes directly onto the belt you're already wearing with your jeans. So they've really thought a lot of things there, but I actually quite like this because even though it's nice and secure, it stops it banging and maybe just a slight bit of rubbing onto my thigh just there. Spider holster, definitely worth checking it out. I'll see you next time.